my name is Robert Westover. I'm a public affairs specialist with the United States Forest Service. And I'm talking to you right now from the Shenandoah National Park, which is interesting because I am a Forest Service employee. But we're here because I'm taking the Green XC team down to the Washington Jefferson National Forest, which essentially abuts and partly surrounds the Shenandoah National Park. We stopped here because the sun is going down. We're not making as quick a time as we thought. And this would be the most opportune time to take this interview. And it is also an opportune spot to talk about the importance of the National Forest System that I've been explaining to Paulina and Igor. Um, we're really interdependent along one another. The um, National Park System uh, has a mission of preservation, wherein you essentially protect the uh, particular lands, almost like putting a glass dome over them. Whereas the National Forest System is more managed lands, and they're managed by the American public how they see fit, in other words. The onus of responsibility for managing the National Forest System, of course, falls on the National Forest Service, but we listen to and we take information from the American public. Um, so that's how our missions are different, but again, we're intertwined. We're intertwined also with the state park systems. Um, watersheds are dependent on all lands. For instance, this watershed system runs into the Shenandoah, which ultimately runs into Potomac, which ultimately is the water supply for much of the Chesapeake Bay area. Washington, D.C. in particular. Um, so these are the kind of things I've been uh, sharing with these really intrepid young folks who are crossing the country in a very unique way and climate-friendly way. I also represent climate change, climate change um, uh, clients, if you will, at the Forest Service, um, and I work with our climate change advisor on these issues. Um, so anyway, we're right here at the Big Meadows. Um, uh, lodge here at the Shenandoah National Park, and we're looking at a stunning view of the Shenandoah Valley, and we're hoping to, maybe by the sunsets, get down to the Washington Jefferson National yeah. Forest. But if not, the yeah, folks will be able to see the beautiful forest tomorrow. Out. You guys want to come into the interview for a second and just say hi? Yeah. So tell, tell the folks in the National Forest Service what the U.S. Forest Service, what you guys have learned so far about the National Forest System in a nutshell. <laughs> well, the National Forest System is one, to me, is one of the most important things that we have in this country. I really feel, you know, that it takes with the, the natural resources that we have as one of the greatest things that we have in this country and finds the most beneficial uses of both preserving them and putting them to use. And Robert has the hard job of explaining that to all these people, and we hope to spread that message to the young generation. I also want to add to that that we started out this mission of ours to cross the country and protect the national parks and forests um, at an actual national forest. And originally we had everything put together. We thought that the national forests, national parks were all part of one system. And through doing this, we became aware of the differences between them and we hope to make other people aware of it. Thank you. All right. Thank you. A lot of times you get a breeze that comes up here as the sun goes down, and it's really nice. It's just the valley and everything. Mm -hmm. How beautiful. Yeah, it's a stunning spot. Really. <clears throat> Fortunate to have it so close to DC.